I'm Charles Kelly and um, King's College has two roles in the Motif project. One is coordination and the other is um, research on microbicides. So our particular task in Motif is to develop in vitro models of drug transport across the vaginal and rectal uh, epithelial barriers. My colleagues all work on uh, HIV microbicides and we work uh, both for uh, Motif and we're also involved in another, another project called CHARM. And CHARM aims to develop microbicides, new microbicides, and take them through to uh, clinical testing, early stage clinical testing. Motif is, um, doesn't overlap with CHARM but derived from CHARM and is very much focused on formulation, so optimizing the delivery of microbicides to vaginal and rectal surfaces. The main goal of Motif Project is to develop formulations of microbicides that are optimized to give uh, the most appropriate uh, levels of drug in tissues. And by most appropriate, I mean the levels of drug that will be able to um, prevent virus infection. The specific role of King's College, in which I should say I collaborate with my colleague uh, Ben Forbes at the Institute of Pharmaceutical Sciences, also at King's College, is to develop in vitro models, so models where we can measure drug transport uh, on the, at the lab bench. Um, so we're developing barrier epithelial models of the uh, vaginal epithelium and also the rectal epithelium. And we'll put the, the three drugs that we've selected for Motif are uh, Depivirin, Deronavir and Tenofovir and we'll be measuring transport of these drugs in these systems. And then we'll build on that and look at the different formulations and see how they affect transport. The expertise that uh, King's College brings to this is um, uh, long experience in using in vitro systems to me measure drug, drug transport. Uh, previously, my colleague Ben Forbes has worked on um, delivery of drugs through airway epithelium, so lungs, but uh, so it's a small step for him to um, come in and look at other uh, epithelial models. It's important that uh, partners in a project like this work together closely the first thing that we need to know is what drug transporters are actually expressed in uh, rectal and vaginal epithelium. And that's work being carried out by the universities of Aberdeen and Siena with uh, Micro Biotech, uh, and a, a small company in Siena. So they're going to look at, or they are looking at expression of transporters, and that data will inform the rest of the study. So we will try and develop relevant systems to look at drug transport. Um, another big effort is in formulation, so our colleagues uh, at Particle Sciences in the US will develop in formulations that perhaps optimize transport of, and delivery of drug through these transporters. They've also got the problem of putting together drugs that are really physico-chemically incompatible. And this is something, uh, technology, that they're going to develop to try and segregate the d drugs, but nonetheless keep them in the same vehicle so that you can have a single gel that contains drugs that are physico-chemically incompatible. There are a number of different formulations that can be used for microbicides. Gels are probably um, the most widely applicable and certainly the only hard data of an effective microbicide from a clinical trial is of a vaginal gel containing the drug tenofovir. But slow release formulations may also be, um, may have some advantages. And in particular, colleagues, uh, not in this project, but in a, a, another project called CHARM, are working on intravaginal rings, which are silicon elastomers that can be made uh, to incorporate drug and the idea is there, there is that these are inserted and left for maybe a period of uh, a few weeks to deliver microbicide.
Motif specifically should improve the delivery of drugs to the tissues where infection first occurs, and that's where you want to prevent the virus from spreading. Um, it will also, I hope, produce some ways of putting together drugs that really are incompatible, so making combinations of microbicides. And the rationale for using my, my, uh, combinations is, of course, that they may be more effective than a single drug alone, and also that they're likely to present a higher barrier to resistance. So one of the concerns in this line of research is that if you use drugs to prevent infection, it's possible that the virus could become resistant. So we want to use combinations to uh, reduce that likelihood. Drug combinations have the advantages of countering possible resistance in virus strains. So they should be more effective. And they'll also present a higher barrier to the development of resistance to drugs uh, in the virus. Well, I hope that we would contribute to the development of an effective microbicide. Uh, HIV, as you know, is a, a huge problem. Um, the latest WHO UNAIDS estimate is 35 million people living with HIV. So something that prevents HIV and if it prevents it effectively would obviously have an enormous effect on large numbers of people. Motif is trying to contribute to the development of more effective microbicides, and it's doing this in two ways. One way is understanding how drugs are distributed to the tissue where HIV uh, infects, and the other is to develop generic ways of formulating drugs, more than one drug in a single microbicide. And the problem is that some of these drugs are quite incompatible, they have very different physicochemical properties, and it's very hard to put them together. In Motif, we hope to develop ways to solve the problem of combining incompatible drugs. We've gone a long way to establishing a good barrier epithelial model um, for vaginal drug transport, and we're using a well-established model for um, in vitro model for rectal drug transport. So we've started to look at transport of the antiretroviral drugs in the rectal system and we're just about ready to start doing it in the vaginal system. The next step then is to um, just improve on the vaginal model but also to look at the uh, transport properties of the three drugs, the three antiretroviral anti drugs that we're using in Motif. Um, those studies have almost been done in the rectal model. So then we'll start to look at uh, the effect of different excipients. So these are different components that will be in the formulated drug and see how th whether these enhance or uh, otherwise affect drug transport.